emerald greens became the grass surrounding the icy blue lakes. They became the evergreen trees covering hillsides, meeting the gray stone walls. Newly greened valleys were splashed with the colors of the rainbow, and blue was the sky, shining yellow sunshine, sparkling the waters as they fell from above. This is the picture of Glacier National Park, a splendor of never-ending beauty. Within the park, about 650 lakes are found, filling bowls carved out during the ice ages. Many are shaped like fingers reaching down from the mountains. Lake McDonald on the west side is the largest lake in the park. Forests carpet the lower valley walls that rise high above the glacier-carved basin. McDonald Creek begins high in the mountains here, the creek fills the lake with fresh mountain snowmelt, dropping at McDonald Falls. On the east side of the park, the largest lake is St. Mary Lake. Like most of Glacier's lakes, this lake is narrow and long, about 10 miles in length. Wildlife enjoy the fresh waters here. Glacier is made up of over one million acres of land, providing habitats for many species of animals and plants, all who enjoy the pristine beauty of nature. Glacier is filled with a huge array of colorful flora. Over 1,000 different plants live within the park. Elevation and location play an important role in their distribution. Running through the park is the Great Continental Divide. The divide separates the continent's flow of water. Narrow stream-cut valleys run east and west from the mountain peaks along the divide. On the west side, rivers flow westerly, eventually meeting the Pacific Ocean. The western side of the divide experiences milder temperatures with a greater amount of precipitation. Plants indigenous to the states of the Northwest are often found here due to the blowing winds from the west. On the east side, flowing rivers meet up with the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. The eastern side of the park is drier. In winter, high winds blow from the north, bringing bitterly cold temperatures. And in the summer, warm winds blow from the south. The plants of the Great Plains have edged their way into Glacier's eastern side. 